everyone. Hello. We're back. Yes, we are. It's been a little while. Yes, it has. Christmas is nuts. The holidays. But we did some reading. Yes, we did. So yay. I'm going to start because Go for it. Yeah, it's why you. not? Okay. So over December, I uh, finished, again, this is a reread, Joan Didion played as a lace, and it was just as awesome. So many people read her memoirs. And it's not that the memoirs aren't good, but her fiction is really different. It is. It is nothing like the memoirs, and I, and I no. don't see a lot of people actually reading her fiction, so if you can get your hands on it, read this. It's Agreed. really good. Yeah. The next one I finished was uh, Frederick... Bartham. Bartham. Moon Deluxe. The quote on the cover is by Raymond Carver. And to me... Reading this was like reading someone who really loved Carver. The fact that Raymond Carver is on the cover is very, very, very appropriate. That's and quite an endorsement. Yeah, so if you like that style, I would definitely recommend this collection. That said, it's not my favorite collection of short stories ever. It's, it's not Raymond Carver. It's just not quite the same. It shouldn't be the same anyway. If you like that style, kind of stark, darker writing with darker themes, then you should read that. It's worth mentioning that Frederick Barthelm's brother, Donald Barthelm, is also a short story writer. And very, very good. Yes. I would recommend his short stories probably over these ones, but they're just different. They're just different. They're just He's different. more on the Carver side, and yeah. Donald Barthelm is more on the postmodern side. Yeah, so, so it's two just... very different styles. The last thing I actually read cover to cover in December might be a little bit surprising since I don't often read very popular genre fiction, but that is Girl on a Train. You picked it up for me I did. from a thrift store, and I was kind of out of, I was reading, going through something really dense on the other side of it, and yeah. I picked this up. And you know what? For a, a populist fiction book, it was really good. I liked it. So what have I been reading? You've been reading Joan Didion's mm -hmm. Fiction, I've been revisiting her essays. Oh, that's so good. We tell ourselves stories in order to live. And it's everything, I think. Everything up until Year of Magical Thinking or Blue Nights. I'll get around to those eventually, but um, that's a long ways off. I'm several hundred pages off, but we'll get there eventually. Um, uh, along with that, I've been reading two poets. They are Lisa Robertson and Eileen Miles. Other than those, uh, I don't have a lot on hand. I, I think I finished uh, Laurie Moore's collection. I can't remember the name. I'll put the cover up. And uh, I, I don't know, I've been starting a lot of things and not finishing. Mm -hmm. I've got what, what typically happens to you, actually. You know, <laughs> picking up a lot, not finishing a lot. What can, what can you do? I'm in the middle of currently reading a few things. Yes, what are you currently reading? I am almost done. Mary McCarthy's A Charmed Life. It's very good. Mary McCarthy ha has been fucking blowing my mind. Yeah, lately. you've been reading a lot of her. Yeah, I think she's great. I think she's really underrated. The group is good, but go read other things because she's a lot more experimental than that. Interesting. Another thing I'm almost finished and you are reading I am. is Amy Hempel's Collected Short Stories. Very, very good. There's one in particular that I made you read. Yeah, again, you, that you got finished you a story, back, yeah. and you said, read this story, and I did. And then I started reading it too, so... <laughs> uh, segue into my currently reading, Amy Hempel. Um, her last collection, though, from this uh, book, The Dog of Marriage. I've only actually read the first from that collection, the name of which, Reasons to Live, maybe? And... Reading her again, I'm, I, I, you know, I ask myself, why haven't I read more of her? She's one of those writers who just... Mm, she's really good. She knows how to tell a story. Yeah. The last thing that I kind of... I'm slogging. I mean, I'm calling it slogging, but I'm at 103 pages. This is heavy as any. It's so heavy. It's good. It's a, you know, a, a queer story from the 20s. It's considered one of, like, one of the first, like, queer narratives uh, for women. But it's, it's quite heavy, so you're probably going to see this for a few Come months. Come up again. Well, yeah. you know, I have been I was reading it pretty dedicated, and I'm only at 103 pages. The, the text is quite small in my, in my copy, so mm. it's going to take a little while. But it's very good. It's very good. 
What about you? What about me? Um, well, besides Amy Hempel, I've been reading short stories by Jean Rice. Aren't these little penguins charming? That's I really should pick mo more of these up. That's my little copy. That's yours, I yes. Love it. And uh, besides that, I am still reading Anna Historic. <laughs> You're still getting through that? I like it. I just, I f I'm finding it a slow read. I can't say why, you know, I, for something I'm enjoying so much. It's not like, oh, I'm going to make it last. It's, it's not a conscious decision. I'm just reading it very slowly. I'll get through it eventually. Is that it? I think that's it. All right. Well, there you have it. Yeah, um, yeah, but... We've reversed roles. Yes, we For have. the past, like, season, Matt has been just Scared blowing books. through books, and yeah. I've been, like, struggling through two. That's true. And uh, December, we've reversed. We did. I think it might have to do with our work schedules. Mine's lightened up. His is intensified. It's pretty heavy. So, I mean, at least we're filling in each other's cla uh, cracks here. Where That's I true. have a lot to yeah. talk about, and I'm really excited. Filling in the gaps. Yeah. 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 Ebbs and flows. Right. Ebbs and flows. Okay, well, uh, that that's note. it for our December wrap-up. I think our next video is going to be a holiday haul. Ah. Because all holidays might have been crazy, but we did get some books. Yes, we did. So, look forward to that. Bye, everyone. Bye.